and we're back hey everybody today we're going to do a heads up comparison of three different brands of freeze-dried foods biscuits and gravy uh, number one will be the peak refuel brand this is called outdoor pantry or outdoorpantry.com is on their label uh, I recently saw this uh, when doing some research on the internet and I thought we'd give them a try in today's shootout and then of course Mountain House the old standby uh, freeze-dried food company and their biscuits and gravy are certainly not a new product they've been reviewed many times but I thought it would be interesting to bring three different brands to the table and do a heads-up comparison and see who wins let's get started okay our peak refuel brand uh, is coming in at in this envelope it's coming in at 6.77 ounces uh, they're claiming 34 grams of protein per pouch and uh, the total calories for this package is 1100 it says there are two servings per container serving size is half the package so I'm just going to go through quickly the list on the full envelope of what we're dealing with here. Total fats 85 grams. We've got uh, 1,780 milligrams of sodium in the, in the envelope uh, total, which these foods, and we've talked about that many times before, are always going to be high in sodium. That's just the nature of the beast with these things. Uh, carbohydrates is 51 grams. We've got one gram of fiber, 17 grams of sugars, and 34 grams, as I said earlier, uh, of protein. The OutdoorPantry.com brand is coming in for the total envelope uh, at 5.5 ounces, so we're, uh, you know, versus 6.77 ounces for the peak fuel. That's 544 calories for the envelope. We've got 34.6 grams of fat. Uh, sodium is 1,443 milligrams. Uh, total carbs is 45.6 milligrams and 12.9 grams. Of protein. And we've got the old Mountain House brand. It says 11 grams per serving on the front of the envelope. However, I know that that Mountain House breaks that down per serving and there are two servings in the envelope. So if we go to the back of the package, uh, we see that we have uh, 560 calories for the entire envelope. We've got 20 grams of fat. We've got 1730 milligrams of sodium in this envelope. Uh, 12 grams of total sugars and 22 grams of protein for the uh, complete envelope and that comes in at 4.4 ounces so out of these three uh, value for portion uh, wise the peak fuel has the most uh, amount of product followed by the outdoor pantry and then the mountain house let's get these things cut open and take a look at first we're going to open up the peak fuel refuel and see what we got here interesting that in the peak we're getting uh, complete biscuits in the package I I can see through the back of this one here and it looks like biscuit pieces I believe the mountain house is the same way as always we take out the oxygen absorber I'm thinking that when we cook these up we're going to be better off breaking up the biscuits uh, anyway so there's our Peak Refuel brand. You can see that on there. It looks like it has a pretty good amount of sausage in it. Um, and I, I don't know, I'm kind of interested to see how this biscuit uh, thing works out being complete like that. Now we'll go to the Outdoor Pantry brand. This one is a see-through pouch. It's clear plastic on the front side of it here. And I was a little bit concerned about that when I was packing to shoot this video I thought maybe I should bring a bowl to rehydrate these but looking at the instructions on the bag it says add hot water to the pouch just like the others so that's what we're gonna do oxygen absorber out we've got some uh, pretty nice sized biscuit chunks in this meal and I think that's probably uh, going to be very similar to what we're going to end up doing once we break some of these up. I'm a little concerned about trying to rehydrate a complete biscuit like this. I think it would end up being moist on the outside and hard and crunchy on the inside. Okay, so I'm looking through the outdoor pantry and I don't see a lot of sausage in here. It looks like most of this is dried up uh, gravy mix type uh, powder in there and we've got some biscuit chunks but I don't really see anything by way of any 
sausage crumbles in that one and the peak fuel I'm seeing a lot of bits and pieces of sausage in there. Now let's go to the old standby mountain house food. Everybody's familiar with these. Same thing, we're going to get rid of the oxygen absorber. Mountain House has a little bit more clean cut cubes of biscuit, it looks like, in their, in their mixture here. Let's get that dumped out. Okay, um, same thing as with the Outdoor Pantry uh, brand. I'm going to get those as close as I can so you can maybe see them a little bit better on the screen. I see some sausage crumbles in the Mountain House brand. I don't really see any in the outdoor pantry. Maybe they're ground up a little finer. And in the peak fuel or refuel, I see quite a bit of uh, sausage crumbles in there. By way of doing a test on these products, I thought we'd go ahead and weigh, uh, weigh this out. I'm gonna use the same paper plate as each of them are placed on now, and we're just gonna zero out the scale uh, with that on there. So that we're weighing the product and not the plate. Okay, the Peak Refuel is telling us 6.77 ounces on their product, and I think we may have dropped one little little shard of biscuit on there, but we'll see what we're coming up with. Interestingly enough, with the Peak Refuel, they were talking about 6.77 ounces uh, on the envelope that we're buying here, but my scale is showing 7.7 .7 ounces for this product. Okay, the Outdoor Pantry uh, brand is showing 5.5 .5 ounces on theirs, so let's see what that comes up to. And that's 5.5 .5 right on the nose. Mountain House is telling us 4.4 .4 ounces. That's coming in at 4.8 ounces, so just a little bit higher than advertised. Okay, the peak refuel is telling us to open up the pouch, remove the oxygen order, standard stuff, and then we're gonna add a cup and a third of boiling water to the pouch. Some of you that have watched my videos know that I've marked my pan uh, here at a cup and two cups so that I can guesstimate a cup and a half by you know visual When I'm making a lot of these things, but for today's video since we're doing a comparison test I'm going to keep it as accurate as possible and go ahead and use the measuring cup. And by doing this we'll make sure that everything is exactly by the manufacturer's directions and keep this as fair and unbiased as possible Okay, our outdoor pantry is telling us to remove the oxygen absorber, obviously, and mix one cup of hot water to bag and mix. So we'll get that going. Okay, now we'll move on to the mountain house. The instructions here are, of course, open the package and remove the oxygen absorber. We're going to carefully add one and a half cups of boiling water. It's interesting to me that the Mountain House product is less volume than the others, but takes more water. Uh, there could be a lot of reasons for that, but just by way of mentioning it. Get that boiled up. And we'll get that one rehydrating, and then we'll give these things a taste test. Okay, the Peak Refuels instructions tell us after we've added the hot water to zip the pouch up and let it stand for 10 minutes, which we've done. The Outdoor Pantry was 5 minutes, so both of these are ready to plate and we'll keep letting the Mountain House hydrate for about another 5 minutes or so. That uh, package tells us to add the water, let it sit for 5 minutes, stir it up again, reseal, and let it sit for another 4 minutes. So let's check out the Peak Refuel and see what we've got.
Okay, and we'll plate up the outdoor pantry. Okay, let's give the Peak Refuel a taste test. Right off the bat, uh, as I said when I opened up the envelope, you can see a lot of uh, sausage crumbles in I went there. and broke the biscuits up a little bit on the Peak Refuel because I just feel like if you put them in their hole, they're probably going to be a little bit more on the crunchy side. Uh, there's a lot of sausage in here, and this looks pretty good. It looks to me like homemade biscuits and gravy, so let's see what we got. That tastes excellent to me um, just like eating homemade biscuits and gravy so this one right off the bat is uh, these other two are going to have their hands full I think beating this it does appear just by looking at these on the plate the peak refuel has a little bit more uh, liquid uh, consistency to it and again we added the water exactly what the manufacturer specified but eating it uh, is not off-putting in any way it's it's like a creamy um, sausage gravy on your biscuit so even though that looks a lot wetter than the outdoor pantry uh, it's very good let's give the outdoor pantry a try okay they're they're definitely a lot thicker uh, mix than the peak refuel and I don't see any maybe a few little pieces of sausage in there but it's it's hard to find you definitely have to dig for them to find them. Okay, the outdoor pantry has very good flavor. Um, certainly something that I would eat and uh, be happy about it. it. It's a good tasting biscuit and gravy. I would like to see more sausage in there. So the outdoor pantry biscuits and gravy uh, taste great also. There's nothing wrong with that at all. Now let's move on to the mountain house. You've heard me say in the past with Mountain House products that I personally add a little bit less water to most of them than called out for on the envelope. I've just found that to work out better for me personally uh, in most cases. This biscuit and gravy mix I think is one where I would probably cut that back because we've got a little bit of a soupy uh, mixture going on here. and. I see a lot of the cubed up biscuits, but very little sausage in there as well. Uh, let's give this a taste test. Got to tell you, the Mountain House has great flavor. Uh, I just looked at the ingredient list because I'm getting a strong herb, you know, like a sage or something type flavor. And as I looked at the ingredient list just now, I saw that there's thyme and, and other things in there. And you can certainly taste it. It makes it taste very good. The biscuits are still a little bit on the crunchier side, even though we let it sit actually just a little bit over uh, the time that they call out. I tell you honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with uh, any of these three. They're, they're all three very good. But for the sake of our shootout today, we're going to pick a winner. And for me and my taste, the Peak Refuel is the hands down winner out of the three. Uh, the amount of sausage that they are giving us, you know, in the uh, packet is quite a bit more than the other two. And it just has a solid down home cooked biscuits and sausage gravy uh, taste to it. So the Peak Refuel to me uh, is is the taste test winner. And we're going to talk about a few other things here before we wrap the video up. Uh, the other two are almost neck and neck to me. I think Outdoor Pantry has done a great job uh, from what I'm guessing is a smaller company to put out a product that runs neck and neck with you know one of the heavy hitters um, says a lot. Mountain House is the old standby. Everybody's familiar with them. You can buy it everywhere. But I was a little disappointed, uh, honestly, in their lack of sausage in there. Uh, I would have ranked the Outdoor Pantry uh, over Mountain House, other than the fact that they both seem to be missing uh, sausage or very much of it at all. So between these two, it's, it's very close. I'm going to go ahead and give the second place spot to Mountain House just because I like the flavor of the herbs that are placed in there, that sage and thyme and 
uh, whatever else it is. Uh, the spices are shown as rosemary extract, chili pepper, and uh, thyme and nutmeg and some other things like that. So for those reasons alone, I'm going to give the second place spot to Mountain House. I just like the additional flavors of some of those uh, spices in there over the outdoor pantry. But it uh, doesn't mean that Outdoor Pantry is a bad product. I, I really feel like those two are just neck and neck. I, I could go either way on which one's getting the second spot. Having said all that, these foods, as many of you know, aren't specifically uh, manufactured and produced for preparedness, prepper pantries, you know, emergency food storage and all that. They will often add that in there as a note uh, to their advertisement. But I did notice a few things as far as what we can expect out of shelf life on these things. Now, before I get into that, I just want to add that any of these foods, freeze-dried foods, emergency food kits, emergency food to totes, uh, buckets, cans, all the stuff that everybody buys, when you see these company advertise them for 30-year storage, you'll often notice that they have a little disclaimer on there that basically says, hey, that can vary based on your storage methods and we're not liable for uh, any problems that you have if something goes wrong. What that simply means is you have to store these foods in appropriate ways for them to have a long or extended shelf life, even freeze-dried foods. So uh, Mountain House, I think, is going to win the best by date you know, on the envelope, uh, advertised on the envelope here. And they're showing this envelope, which I purchased not too long ago, uh, to be good till August of 2050. In comparison, the Peak Refuel, and I'm, and I'm comparing these two side by side because they both appear to be in some type of a Mylar or uh, similar material envelope. The Peak Fuel, in comparison to the Mountain House, shows uh, good till 10 of 2026. So just by the manufacturer's best buy dates, it appears that Mountain House is saying their product uh, the way they package it can stay uh, good to eat for a much longer period of time. And again, that all depends on you storing it correctly. I'm not seeing a best buy date on the outdoor pantry. They are showing a manufacture date, uh, but I don't see anything indicating uh, what kind of uh, life expectancy that we can, that we can look for. Uh, on their product on the envelope. Maybe I'm missing it uh, outdoor pantry So I apologize if I have but I just don't see it on there There are no freeze-dried foods canned foods or anything MREs uh, that are gonna last if they're kept out in a hot garage or in a hot car and and all these other kinds of storage uh, errors that people make. I say all that because on our shootout today if you are buying this food for long-term food storage well, maybe the uh, Mountain House would be a little bit more attractive to you. Second would be the Peak, although, like I said, they both seem to be packaged in a Mylar type envelope, but I'm going off of their uh, best buy date on the envelope, which puts them a little bit behind the Mountain House. So there we have it. Everybody loves good old B&G, and you've got three great options here to add to your emergency food storage or your camping and outdoor uh, needs, hunting and otherwise. Peak Refuel has an excellent, excellent product. Uh, the Mountain House, you know, tastes good, but is lacking in some ways, and Outdoor Pantry would have certainly scored a lot higher uh, had they put more sauce in their biscuits and sausage gravy uh, meal. Hey, if you like the information that we provided for you in today's video, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button down below. And as always, remember, get ready so that you and your family can succeed and thrive.